welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com if you haven't already click that button and subscribe to our channel on the menu today I'm gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich a Swiss mushroom melt really simple get yourself two nice pieces of bread roughly the same size butter them generously on one side and try and get as many of the corners as you can a nice generous even spread this is the side that we're actually going to fry so you need to now turn this over simply get some cheese on there I've got some Emmental cheese I like to grate my cheese because uh, it just melts a little bit better I find so in that goes on goes some mushrooms that you saw I just fried them gently in a touch of olive oil a real small amount of olive oil I didn't add any seasoning if you wanted you could add some herbs or spices maybe I'm keeping mine nice and straight and on top of that again another layer of cheese what that's going to do is literally sandwich the cheese on both sides to create a real kind of solid piece that's what we want we want this to kind of combine itself together touch more there simply take this bit with the batter facing up and that's it let's get to the cooker so I've got a pan here this is the one I just cooked my mushrooms in there's no oil or anything in it, nice and dry. Non-stick would help you quite a lot. Get the heat on, but get the heat on fairly low. Simply, we're gently gonna pick up our sandwich and drop her in. What we need to do next is wait a couple of minutes, two minutes, then we're gonna flip her over two minutes and then we're gonna start flipping it a few times to get it nice and brown. The secret of a good grilled cheese sandwich is low and slow. If, you, if it, the heat's too high, the, the outside will burn, the cheese won't melt, what's the point? So nice and slow, see you in two minutes. Okay, so I've just flipped this over, you can see it's nice and brown, and that butter being on all the edges gives it a nice even coat. But this is not brown enough for me. Our cheese has started to melt, but not enough. Now we're gonna sort of press it down a bit. Both the slices will stick together now. We're going to do another two minutes there, low and slow, don't forget. Then it will be able to flip really easily. And we're going to have a lovely, lovely Swiss cheese melt. Okay. As you can see, some of my cheese is actually popping through this bread. I'm using a pumpkin and sunflower seed bread today, but use any bread you like. Let's give this a flip and see what she's like. Wow. Personally, the cheese has melted now, but it's not brown enough. I want to kind of brown this up a little bit more. So I'm going to go for another two minutes, flipping it every few seconds. And there we have it. This is lovely, this one. Mushroom's going to be beautiful. That Emmental, that nice Swiss cheese is really melted nicely, really gooey. It's nice and crispy on the outside, just how we want it. Let me take a little piece here for a taste. Hope you enjoy this. Check out our channel because we've got loads more real cheese sandwiches, different varieties. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Oh, wow. Mmm.